Hi there, this is Jason Dunn from Windows Phone Thoughts, and today we're looking at the HTC HD2, specifically at the HTC software, uh, and more specifically at HTC Sense. So this is the user interface you're seeing here. I have all my lights turned off, so I'm hoping that uh, this is going to show up you know, nicely on camera. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn off the phone first, and I'm going to turn it back on, and I want you to be able to see the lock screen. Uh, so this is this is the screen, uh, this is part of Windows Mobile 6.5, and and as you can see down here, uh, it shows me uh, the time and uh, the date, and then up here we have the slide button, and all I need to do is just slide it across there. Now, that worked for me that time, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it again just, just to see if I can kind of get it to sort of fail. Okay, it worked. Now, I did update the ROM uh, just before shooting this video, so it is possible that HTC fixed it, but that one particular item there was something that actually caused me a lot of frustration. It seemed like every time I went to swipe it, it wouldn't actually do it on the first time, but took, you know, two swipes. So, uh, that kind of sucked, but it looks like maybe Maybe HTC has addressed that issue. So this is uh, the start screen. Now one of the nice things is is that uh, you can, I'll do that again, basically if you want to change the clock or anything to do with clock or time zone, you just go boom, you just hit the big clock and then you have a nice big uh, finger friendly interface here in order to um, adjust your location or you know you can pick other locations. Now the nice thing is that it is smart enough to actually figure out your location, which I do appreciate. There's also a, a built in alarm clock and again, really you know nice and big and uh, finger friendly here. You can set it, I want to wake up at 7 a.m. on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, boom, away you go. And you can, of course, uh, check out the different uh, alarm sounds. And actually, while I'm going to do that, um, I wanted to show you how loud the speaker is. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, I'm going to crank it up to maximum volume here, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to uh, check these alarms. Okay, so. Uh, that's so loud it's hurting my ears, so HTC did a really good job in terms of making uh, this device have a loud, loud speaker. Okay, so that's about it for that. Now, if I click on the weather here, uh, it takes me to the weather tab, so you can see that where I am, it's in Alberta, it is minus 20 degrees Celsius up here, and uh, the low is uh, minus 29, so pretty damn cold. Uh, down here, it actually shows me... Um, uh, the uh, the forecast you know for for the other days now it, it doesn't unfortunately it doesn't give you any details but it does give you the high and the low and basically the weather you know so it's supposed to snow on Thursday etc cetera, etc cetera. so that's pretty cool um, oh and I, I should point out as well is that the weather application uh, you can of course add multiple cities so in Taipei it's a tw it's 21 degrees Celsius I might like to go there right now uh, in Barcelona it's 16 degrees in London it's five degrees etc cetera, etc cetera. so really really nice uh, a, a beautifully done um, um, weather weather application. Uh, now we're back here at the home screen. Uh, I, I, I can click on the uh, calendar icon here, and as you can see, it'll actually it'll actually give me uh, a uh, uh, give me a month view. Um, and then what I can do from there, actually, I'm not sure if this is gonna set. This is gonna change the day. Oh wow! So it's actually that easy to change the day, uh, which is maybe a little bit scary because I don't actually want to be able to change the day that easily. Uh, now there's also alarms, which I've I've already I've already shown you that um, down here. If I click on calendar, it takes me to my sort of. Uh, this, this is typically called the agenda view, so it actually shows me what I would normally have, and I would normally have appointments, and they would they would show up here. And what's kind of nice is that it shows you the weather for that day. So as you're flipping through and you're making appointments, if you're doing any kind of traveling you might say okay well actually you know on Thursday it's it's supposed to uh, snow so maybe I don't want to uh, have any appointments where I'm leaving my house on Thursday so that's kind of cool and then what you can also do is you can click on new appointment here and this is really impressive and the reason why this is really impressive is because HTC did a hell of a lot of work to allow you to create um, appointments uh, that don't actually need a stylus. So again, this device doesn't have a stylus, so HTC had to make sure that you'd be able to do all the things you need to do without without requiring a stylus. Now, I'm going to show you something else here. I'm going to zoom in, or I'm going to move the device up a little bit. This is the on-screen keyboard. So, the HD2 has haptic feedback, so as I 
type my name in here, Jason, uh, the, uh, the screen actually buzzes under my fingers. That is something that can be turned off because it does actually require um, a little bit of extra battery life because what it's doing is when you're, you're, you're typing each letter, it's actually vibrating the screen as you're going through and typing each letter. So that, that, does, that does require a, a little bit of battery life. Now, the other thing uh, that HTC did was because they have, frankly, such a huge screen, they have so much space to work with, they, they created um, a set of uh, direction pads down here. So you can actually move the cursor, you know, up and down and, and around. And as you can see, like when I move down, it actually moves the cursor down to uh, the, next, the next field. And uh, the uh, the date and time pickers are also finger friendly. So as you can see here, okay, I want to set it for you know the seventeenth. I want to set it for uh, let's say six you know p.m. or let let, let let's say six fifteen. So as you can see here, I'm just basically just scrolling through, and this is light years better. I cannot express to you how much better this is than regular Windows Mobile, which still has frankly awful awful finger friendliness. So HTC did a superb job here. You can set, you know, all sorts of different things. I wanted to show an hour before I can, you know, in invite someone, etc, etc. So you, you can basically do all the things that you need to do uh, from from this from this screen. Uh, now, where were we here? We'll, we'll, we'll go back to the home screen here. The other thing you can add is you can add on um, uh, shortcuts, which are basically just links. So right now I can add on shortcut to, let's say, the camera. So I'll go boom and then boom, there, there's the camera. Now, as you can see here, there, there's three links or there's three spots for you to be able to add. But when you press down, the three actually become nine. So you can actually have up to nine icons here. I'm not sure why they capped it at nine. It might have been neat if they, if they allowed you to keep going because then you could actually add in you know more than nine but that's not not the end of the world so you can sweep back up here now over here we have uh, people now I don't have anyone in, in this phone right now but basically if I went in here and I added a new contact and you can also see that add a new contact has a really really nice finger friendly design so again HTC did a fantastic job here but basically I'd be able to add a new contact uh, and uh, it would show their picture up there and then it would also show me some basic information uh, in terms of ways I can contact them uh, one of the things I don't like about this, and again, it's hard to demo this right now, but um, if you add a person, like let, let, in my case, I added my wife there, and I added my wife, and I said, okay, I want to be able to phone her on her cell phone. So when I so when I, when I tap on that, it, it phones her on her cell phone. But uh, but once you assign that sort of that person with that contact number, you actually can't go back in and you can't change it to uh, you, you can't add any, any kind of alternate number. So basically, if I wanted to call my wife on her cell phone and her home number, I would have to actually add her in here twice. And that that's, of course, uh, a, li a little bit weird. Now, maybe there's a workaround for that that I haven't discovered, but that's what I've uh, kind of found out so far. Now, uh, this is the SMS messaging uh, application. So uh, this is where you would actually uh, build your SMS messaging application. Again, uh, really nice and finger friendly. You have the really big keyboard. Uh, it does in fact rotate into uh, uh, into landscape mode. So you can actually use an even bigger keyboard. In that case, you can kind of go two thumbs. But what's kind of interesting, at least in my experience, is I found that this keyboard is actually big enough to use two thumbs. So I so I can actually do this uh, like this with with a fair amount of uh, a fair amount of accuracy. I will point out though that there's something I've noticed and maybe again this might have been fixed with this ROM update but previously when I was using this device I noticed that it didn't always register my key presses. So basically I'll go through here and I'll you know type up my name Jason Dunn. Oh, Jason Finn. Nice. I don't want to be Jason Finn. You can see that there is an autocomplete. So you see up here it, it autocompletes to Finn but if I want it to be done I just I just simply uh, click on that right there. So um, one of the things I noticed when I was sort of using my thumbs and I was, I was using the keyboard like this, I did notice that every so often it would just simply not accept a key press. And, and sometimes I would even stop and I'd kind of be like, you know, mashing on a key and it was not accepting the key press. So again, hopefully that's something that HTC can tweak. Uh, this is a brand new device and the ROM update I just applied is I believe the first official ROM update from HTC. So it's entirely possible that, um, you know, they have uh, fixed some of those problems. Uh, this is the email uh, client. You can go to an email client. Now again, I haven't actually created uh, an email 
uh, added in an email program here, but one of the things kind of worth noting is that uh, once you get into the email program, you're inside Windows Mobile. So you don't have necessarily the most finger-friendly approach, although HTC did do some work there. Um, and if I, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pause the camera right now. I'm going to um, add in my Gmail account and we'll, we'll probably be looking at some spam because I don't really use it, but uh, I'm gonna add this in and we'll take a look at how the mail client works.